Hello everyone, welcome to our class Passionate Learners. Today in this class we are going to learn the meaning of research and its types. So in specific we will learn about meaning, objectives and types of research. Starting with meaning of research. Research is the word which is made up of two individual things. Re and search. Re is repeating again and again. Searching is to find out something. So to find out the solution for a particular problem in a scientific way is known as research. So it is to search for new facts in any branch of knowledge. Research is a process of inquiry and investigation. It is the source to increase the knowledge. Basically it is to enhance or improve our knowledge. The basic objectives of research are to find the answers to questions through application of scientific method. As we already discussed, it is to find solution to a problem in a scientific manner. Next, to gain familiarity to new concepts. So, to gain some familiarity means to know, to, to learn about new concepts. Third one is to test a hypothesis means tentative statements. Fourth one is to investigate the existing problem. Fifth, to propose a new theory or generate new knowledge. So these are the objectives of research. Now coming to types of research. There are different kinds of research. So they are categorized as pure research, applied research, quantitative research and qualitative research. So pure research, pure research or fundamental or conceptual research. Remember the names pure, fundamental, concept, conceptual research. See, I can simply say that this is like gathering all the theoretical information about a particular problem is known as pure research. We are not doing anything like we are not applying it anywhere. We are just gathering information. So that is Pure research. Pure research serves as the foundation for the applied research. It is basically to understand the concept. The next one is applied research. So whatever the theoretical information we have gathered in the pure research, we will make use of it in this applied research and find out solution for the problem. So that is applied research. It is to solve a specific problem. It is more glorified form of research. It improves understanding. Foundations which are found in basic research are applied here to produce the end product. So the example of pure and applied research. So let us understand this. Rontgen discovered the way to produce X-ray with the help of a cathode ray. So here he has just discovered or produced this x-ray uh, with the help of a cathode ray which comes under the pure research and later applied it in medicine for determining the disease and injury in the body. So this comes under the applied research. Two things are happening. When he found out x-rays with the help of cathode rays, it became a pure research and when he made use of these x-rays in the field of medicine to find out the disease and injury so it comes under the applied research. The next one is quantitative research. Quantity in the sense numbers. So quantitative research is systematic investigation of event by statistical and mathematical techniques. We make use of statistical or mathematical techniques in this quantitative research. So this is again classified as experimental and non-experimental research. Quantitative is classified as experimental and non-experimental research. So first one is experimental research. So we all are familiar with the word experiment. We will done, we will be doing this in a particular setting. So we won't do this experiment in a natural setting. We will do it in a particular setting. So that is experimental uh, research. 
in an experimental study the researcher manipulates at least one independent variable controls other relevant variables and observes the effect on one or more dependent variables so here we are doing it in a particular setting the researcher manipulates a independent variable and observes what is happening to a dependent variable this is what happens in experimental research and this is again categorized as true experimental quasi experimental and pre experimental so true experimental it has three things you have to remember the three things in this true experimental first one is manipulation second one is randomization the third one is control and quasi experiment so quasi experiment as manipulation any one among randomization and control is present not both like true experiment has three things but quasi has only two things manipulation and either randomization or control is present and the third one is pre experimental so here only manipulation will be there no randomization or no control there is again classification for this true quasi and pre experimental we will do it in another video so in brief this is about experimental research and its types the next one is non experimental research method so here research is done under natural setting so unlike experimental where we did it in a Uh, particular setting we'll do this non experimental in a natural setting there is no manipulation or control for this so again there are types descriptive correlational developmental and survey so descriptive is where a researcher observes describe the things naturally correlation is where a researcher finds out the relationship between two variables that is the independent and dependent variable uh like what is the relation between them is is known as correlational uh research correlational non experimental research next one is developmental this is purely with respect to time like uh like at the starting of the experiment like uh, to observe the scenario how the scenario is at the, at the starting time and how the scenario is at the ending time so this comes in the developmental research next one is survey so collecting information from the subjects it is all about collecting information regarding their attitude maybe their habits so their opinion so this comes under the survey so next one is the qualitative research this type of research is used in social sciences quality so here it is not related to numbers it is basically about social sciences so the main uh, important example here is the case study the action research or the historic research so hence the basic aim of a research is to find a solution to a problem in a scientific manner using all these methods according to convenience so what are the different methods we have came across is the pure uh, pure research applied research quantitative research and qualitative research so pure research is all about the theory uh, applied research is application of the theory which we have learned in this uh, uh, pure research we are applying it in the applied research and uh, i have also quoted an example about that x ray and next coming to quantitative research uh, which is all about numbers the statistical and mathematical uh information which which uh, the information is gathered in that form we call it as a quantitative which is categorized again into experimental and non experimental in experimental comes uh, true experimental quasi experimental and um pre experimental so if, if we come across the true experimental true experimental has three things to remember that is uh the randomization the control and uh, manipulation and when comes to quasi there is manipulation and either of uh, random or control is present not not both either random or control is present and when coming to pre experimental group there is only uh 
there is only manipulation there is no scope for randomization or control so that is about experimental and when coming to non experimental it is done in a natural setting so there are different types in it again uh, like uh, correlational developmental uh, survey method so these things comes under the uh, non experimental descriptive descriptive method also so by making use of all these kind of researches we can find out solution for a problem according to our convenience so that's it for today uh, i think i'm clear about the topic and if you still have any doubts kindly let me know in the comment section thank you so much